welcome to Let's Jazz It Up. Here I am, Brenda Moss, a.k.a. Lady D. That track there, Late at Night by the D-Style Album. I have with me two guests, Damon and Sally Bartlett, on my platform today. You know what it is. Phone line is open right now as I speak. Welcome, Damon and Sally Bartlett. Hello there. (laughs) Hey. How you doing? Doing great. Thank you for having us. Oh, you my pleasure. My pleasure. Where are you calling from? Where are you both calling from? Uh, we are located in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, We're nice. originally from the San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah, San Francisco Bay Area uh, for Damon. And for me, I'm from uh, originally from Seaside, California. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for that information. That track I just played... Late at night. Wow. And uh, <laughs> is there a story behind that uh, melody right there? There sure is. I got to tell you, there's, um, I got I to gotta admit, this song has um, been around for a while in different uh, creations. And uh, I almost gave up on it. Um, and then one night, uh, as we were pulling our hair out, trying to figure out what to do with this song, because the chords and, and the melody is just so nice, but it just wasn't working. So I ended up coming in and erasing the bass and drums, and I came up with a complete new bass and drum track, which is the track you hear now. Then I brought it down to uh, my band rehearsal. I play in a, in a band out here uh, called Purple Rain, and we had an audition night. And uh, we a bunch of musicians came to audition, and there was a sax player there. Well, we don't use a sax player in our band. But he was there hanging out with the musicians, and my, the, late at night, the new song with the new bass and drums was happened to be playing on the speakers in there. We were on a break, and the guy and I was chopping it up with the sax player. His name is Delon Charlie, and uh, I, he said, "I like it." Telling him, "Dad, this is my new." He goes, "Oh my God, this is great! You like yeah. smooth jazz? I'm like, yeah, I'm Boney James and all that." And we. We struck it up from there, and next thing you know, he's on the song. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, all right. Thank you for that information. So, as you two musicians from the West Coast, that's how y'all met each other on the show. Y'all landed in uh, Vegas. Purple Rain was a Prince tribute show, correct? Yes. Yeah. What year he, was uh, that? Well, Damon landed the gig first about six months before I landed it, and he came in as a keyboard player, and then uh, six months later, I came in as a bassist, and uh, that's how we met. And, um, I, you know, I don't know, just uh, after a year of, of playing with the band and, you know, he and I kind of got together, he, he um, just seemed to have a lot in common. And uh, next thing you know, we are together, and a year later, we're married, and wow. we're creating some jazz music together. So <laughs> That's know. awesome. Wow. Yeah. So would you both like to uh introduce yourselves on uh or starting off with uh uh Damon. Did you grow up in a musically talented family? Well I sure did, yeah. Um my dad, uh Wayne Bartlett, uh was a pretty popular singer in the fifties and sixties. He played with Tyree Glenn Junior and the Imperials. And uh before that, when he was he was a kid, uh, his parents had a group uh, in West Virginia called the Venetian Singers, and they were the first black gospel group to be on the radio. Mm. So I do come from a long, long line of, uh, oh, yeah. of uh, yeah. My dad was actually 14 years old when he played with the Venetian Singers, and he was the double baritone. Right. So you can see oh, where I got oh. my voice. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And you, and Sally, you same well, question. Sure. Yeah. yeah oh, my, for you, me? Sally? Yeah, you. Um, what's that, your history? Well, my mother, um, when I was a, a little, little tiny tot, I was uh, actually adopted at birth into a, a Japanese family. Um, and anyway, uh, Japanese was actually my first uh, uh, language. I didn't know any English. You look at my picture and I do not look Japanese. But, uh, <laughs> my mother was really into playing the piano and she used to have me sit on her lap and she used to play the uh, I Left My Heart in San Francisco and uh, uh-huh. 
Yeah. Well, this is gonna make me cry. <laughs> over the rainbow, somewhere over the rainbow. Those were her two favorites. And okay. um, when she would up and leave away from the uh, piano, I would get in there, and and that was it from there. I just kind of got musically inclined and messing around with chords and harmonies and and all that. And then I and then I got into clarinet um, for about twelve years, and then a little bit in saxophone. And okay. then I switched to bass guitar, and that was it from there. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you both for that information. So I would like to go ahead and play some music. Um, okay. Ooh, My Grind. Uh, that is the track I want to spin now. What is the story behind that uh, track right there? That track, uh, it, it started off as um, it was going to be a vocal song. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. I can't. I, I was working here in Vegas in another band, and we we're playing six nights a week, every week, wow. four sets a night, and it went on for years. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I was writing music on on the side, and this one song just came to me because of the grind that I had to go through every night, setting up and breaking oh. down, setting up and breaking down, and playing these gigs, and it's just oh my grind. I'm working overtime all the time, you know. <laughs> right, making, right. And so, so I ended up never coming up with any verses. So when we switched over and started doing the smooth jazz thing, I'm like, this would be a oh, Sally actually said, this is a sax song. I was I I, <laughs> I just played it for her one day and she was like, Oh my god, that's a sax song, we gotta call you on. <laughs> so that's that's the story behind that song. Yeah. <laughs> wow, great story. Wow. So here is Ooh My Grind. Y'all stay in that hot seat. We'll be right back. Ooh my grind. You see me, baby, I've been working overtime. Doing everything to make my dime. But I know I can be better, be better. Be better. 